What's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color. Or is it Mario Golf 64? Take a wild guess. But anyway, when you connect your... Tr this is going to be the grand finale. We're going to showcase the N64 transfer pack stuff. So uh, when you have uh, Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color, and N64 transfer pack, and Mario Golf 64, what we're going to do is... Uh, yeah, we're going to basically transfer our Game Boy Color character kid what i failed to realize however no main menu so um yeah so what i failed to realize however is that uh we have kid right here however what i unfortunately failed to realize is if you keep if you transfer your characters you need to have your game boy color cartridge in your transfer pack and so the other three characters i'm gonna have to show I already recorded footage of this game with those separate three characters before I did the initial before I did the playthrough. So that'll be showcased at the end of the video. So what we're gonna do is basically do kid. We have six, 269 yards, and uh we're just gonna go through a standard toad tournament with kid. So uh yeah, it's like an old nostalgia trip, but uh it's been it's actually been, believe it or not, a while since I played this, so uh I did the playthrough a year ago, so, uh... Thank you for playing more of the game more enough so I can kind of do this, but, uh, yeah. Kid has the... Kid has the same fade, but, uh... We pretty much mostly have the fade because of that... If you get the Distance Club in the Game Boy Color playthrough, it's gonna transfer also to the, uh... Margol 64, let's just say, so, uh... I think I'm gonna, um... Hit a 5 iron... I don't think this is going to be enough, though. It's been a while since I played Mario Golf 64, but uh, we're just going to go to the standard Toad tournament with him. And we're going to hit it like this. Hopefully not overshoot it. Come on, go in, go in, go in, go in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was a great putt indeed. So, look. There's our Zelda references. There's Link. There's Yukiki, there's Fly Guy, there's Eric, there's McCloud, there's Darunia, there's Kobe. Ah, oh, it's like old times. I can't believe it's been a full year since I did the Mario 64 playthrough. But yes, it's like old times, but uh, old times of a year ago, but uh, I want to get to Toadstool Tour eventually, so uh, I really want to get to Toadstool Tour eventually, but I just wanted to, I'm, we're just, today we're just going to do, uh, we're just going to do our Game Boy Color character in the Toad Tournament, just like old times. Well, maybe, maybe let's not these, get these, uh, okay, we're not, we don't have enough distance to get that green in two, so um, we don't have the right win condition, so um, it's also a different setup I have since I did the Mario FC4 playthrough because I have a different mic now and on top of that I when I did the Mario FC4 playthrough my upscaler was an XRGB mini frame meister and I've since switched to a retro tip retro tank 5x so it is definitely a different setup now since when I did that initial playthrough going nice birdie all 18 holes Well, that's burning th hole three out of 18, I swear to God. You know, I always have, even if Mario Golf 64 isn't as polished or like um, mechanics wise in future Mario Golf games, I still come back to this game a hell of a lot to say. I think at least once a year I will come back to this game. Yeah, it's an easy, uh, pretty easy uh, bird E right there, but, um, Unfortunately, though, we're going to have to, uh... As long as that makes the green still. Those are... The Game Boy Color Playthrough, I definitely wasted a lot of power shots, but, uh... Oh, shit. 40 to 60, so... I have to go like this. Ah, yeah. Sometimes when you just played the more golf the game more color, you're not really used because like 64 is slightly slower timing, so um plus they don't have the uh second the shorter approach shot. So um Unfortunately though, our luck's gonna kinda run out of birdie, but it's not really 
even if you're not using a Game Boy Color character, it's it's not that hard to win the Toad Tournament. But essentially, um, it's not that hard to win the Toad Tournament either way. So um, we're, we're gonna, um, I guess we're gonna um, hit it like this. We have a significantly high shot as kids because that wind can affect the shot a lot. Like that, I should just use the higher club. I find it harder for whatever reason to chip in Mario Golf 64 than I didn't Mario Golf the Game Boy Color, but uh, anyway. I'm not aiming for the most perfect round because it's the same file as before we got all the birdie badges. God, remember that trip we had to, we had to go in. That's probably my least favorite thing about 100%ing Mario Golf 64 is going on and get all the birdie badges. Come on, hole in one. Okay, not a hole in one, but we're back to birdie at least. Oh yeah. All right, more some some great win conditions. So what we're gonna do is um, let's let's uh, try to see how far we can hit that. I'm not really used to playing more Ghost Sleep with the Game Boy Color characters. I really only I did it for the first time ever, really. Uh, when I recorded the footage with the other three characters, which will be at the end of this video. So um, so the gist of it is, it's kind of been a while since I've done this because. I started this playthrough a month ago. And that's really the and the last time I played Mario Golf 64 prior to that was also when I did the playthrough, which we're going on a year ago when I did this. So uh which we missed the putt. So uh it's not really that hard to win the toe tournament though, but uh we're kind of seeing their uh uh, we're kind of seeing their animation. We haven't gotten an eagle yet. I'd like to get an eagle so I can show kids an eagle animation. All right, that's a that's gonna go a lot. It's gonna go 297 yards. So I'd say this I'd say this hole in general is easier to eagle than the than the hole four. Ooh, that was that could have been an albatross, but uh, I said this in the last part. An albatross is very hard to get. Let's just say. Nice eagle. Yes. That's a uh, kid's eagle animation. So uh, I am only actually gonna do the front nine. So uh, I re I apologize for kind of um, I apologize for the delay. For, for I basically showed off the gist of kids. So uh. I think once we're done with hole nine, I'm going to kind of end it and show the remaining three characters. Or maybe I'll just end it now. Now we'll, we'll finish hole nine. And we missed the putt, so unfortunately we're ending this kid round on a bogey. So uh yeah, unfortunately we're that's uh our character's journey ends on a bogey. So anyway, now that I will uh go back to the main menu, I guess I'll showcase the other three characters, so I'll see you guys in a second. Alrighty, so this last section of the video is going to be post-commentary. This is Joe, one of the other Game Boy Color characters. He has a very significant draw, much more so than Kid, but he hits the ball farther than Kid. So uh, I decided to just play a casual practice round on Toad Highlands to kind of showcase him. But uh, yeah, he's essentially the other male character in Mark off the Game Boy Color. And I recorded this footage before I started the initial playthrough. So 
yeah, what, what this video is going to show, the rest of the video is going to showcase is essentially the other Game Boy Color characters that I couldn't figure out how to transfer. However, this is Azalea. She has a very significant, she has a pretty significant fade, and uh, she has kind of, she, I'd say she, her distance I think is lower than Joe's, but higher than Kid's, so, uh, yeah, she's essentially one of the female characters you can use in Mario Golf the Game of Color, and I decided to do a practice round of uh, Koopa Park while, uh, using Azalea, and, uh, I actually just went in the practice mode to showcase these characters, but, uh, Basically, uh, the gist of it is you need your N64 transfer back in your cartridge in order for these characters even, they don't like stay there on for also, which I failed to kind of realize that before I started the playthrough, but uh, wow, I actually missed that putt, but uh, yeah, what we're gonna do is, uh, I guess we're gonna par out this whole, I only wanted to just show the gist of these uh, Game Boy Color characters, but this is also the last character, Sherry. Even though it may look like she has a draw, she actually hits the ball straight. And uh, so I'd say if you're a beginner, maybe the first time playing more of the game Boy color, not a bad idea to try out Sherry, but uh, she hits the ball straight. However, I hit that ball out of bounds. So what we're gonna do is uh, mulligan, because you can do that in practice mode. But uh, I think I just try to go for a high risk, high reward shot. And Sherry also hits the ball high, where uh, I think Azalea hits the ball lower. I think Azalea hits the ball higher, but Joe hits the ball higher, but Kid automatically hits it lower. We just hit it higher because I never really upgraded uh, height much. But uh, yeah, so basically uh, Sherry hits it straight now that we're seeing the lower clubs out of her. So, uh, yeah, once I par out this hole, that'll be, uh, the gist of Margolf for the Game Boy Color, or Margolf 64, depending on which playlist you're watching, but, uh, yeah, so once I par out this hole, I will see you guys in my next playthrough. See you guys then.